CD Projekt Red blesses us with some more screenshots from Cyberpunk 2077. Now, some of these were shots taken from the trailer that was shown at Gamescom this week, but the others were never seen before. They gave us a look at one of the motorcycles you'll be able to ride in the game and a bunch of different settings in Night City. Needless to say, this only gets my body more ready for Cyberpunk, which by the way, has officially been added to the set of games coming to the stadium. Speaking of video game blessings, Hideo Kojima blesses with some Death Stranding gameplay at Gamescom. We got a look at the game's UI and one of the outside environments. They even showed Sam interacting with one of the bridge babies. It was hella adorable. However, these babies are very mysterious. According to Deadman, one of the characters that was showcased during the gameplay, there is not much known about these babies. Even more odd, Deadman sees these babies as equipment that must be studied. However, another character who was shown during the gameplay named Mama shows more attachment to her baby, who also happens to be her daughter, and is also somehow invisible. All right, I know this is a lot to take in. Trust me, I'm confused too. But doesn't this just make you even more hyped for the game and all the mysteries it holds? I know I'm excited. Well, Death Stranding drops on November 8th for PS4. We're almost there, guys. To add on to the gameplay reveals, Square Enix released gameplay footage of the tutorial level for Marvel's Avengers. In it, we saw the full A-Day mission and how all the characters work. Now, although the game looks good in my opinion, the actual gameplay is kinda stale. The Hulk and Thor are simple run up and destroy type characters, Iron Man as a zoner, and Black Widow and Captain America seem to be more on the agile side. The Taskmaster boss fight was pretty cool, but as for the level itself, it just wasn't as interesting as I'd hoped. Well, hey, at least you could throw Mjolnir at bad guys. That's gonna be fun. Marvel's Avengers is currently set to drop on May 15th, 2020 for PS4, Xbox One, PC, and the Stadium. We've got some more info on Need for Speed Heat. Now at first, my feelings were kind of bleh when it came to this game, but now I'm a little bit more intrigued. In the game, you'll have two types of races, day races and night races. In the day races, you race for money, which you can use to not only customize your car, but your avatar as well, which I think is pretty cool. Car customization is nice, but I will always be a fan of character customization, as long as it's good. The night races are where the fun begins. During the night, you race for rep. However, the more rep you gain, the more the cops start harassing you. So at night, you're not only racing other racers, you're also avoiding the boys in blue, in true Need for Speed fashion. But yeah, Need for Speed Heat is looking to be a little bit better than I thought at first, but we'll see how I feel about it when it comes out on November 8th for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. We got to try out the new maps coming to Battlefield 5, Lofoten and Provence. The Provence map is fit for close combat and is ideal for 5v5. The Lofoten map is larger and offers more freedom in how you play. Both maps drop at the end of August, so there is basically no way. And to end this recap, we've got some dope endgame content coming to Borderlands 3. During the Gamescom opening night live, Gearbox creative director Paul Sage announced two challenge modes that will be waiting for players. First off, the Circle of Slaughter will be making its return. In this mode, you'll be able to team up with friends to fight waves of enemies in order to gain some sweet loot. The second mode is the Proving Grounds and will be available to players later in the campaign. In this mode, you'll have to mow your way through areas full of bad guys. But the kicker is that you're being timed. The faster you complete the gauntlet and the more optional objectives you complete, the better your reward. All this, plus the DLC that is being planned for this game, means that we'll be clocking in a lot of time in Borderlands 3. With that being said, Borderlands 3 drops on September 13th for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. We've got less than a month, guys. Well, that is it for this week's recap, Gameologist. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave all your opinions about the news in the comments below. And with that, take care and game on.